All right, welcome back. The members of Nebula Dance Lab are with us this morning. The creative modern dance troupe has upcoming performances of Through the Looking Glass at the Libero Theater. They join us this morning for a preview. So I am joined by Meredith uh, Cabanis and Devin Duex. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having so, us. So Devin, as director, talk a little bit about how you came, decided you wanted to do this production and maybe how this is different for people that come see your performances often. Yeah, this is probably one of our biggest productions we've ever put up at the Lobero. We have two shows um, that we're going to be premiering. The first time we've ever brought in an international choreographer, so we, we worked with Edgar Zendejas out of Canada, and it was a 24-hour rehearsal process over six days where we created a 13-and-a-half-minute piece that we're going to premiere one night only. And then the second piece is really our largest production, which is Through the Looking Glass, another adaptation. It's probably our largest cast, 15 dancers, live music, original score, all that kind of stuff. So well, it's really so exciting. You're adapting from this book, the Lewis Carroll book, obviously, and yep. it was a movie yeah. uh, last year with yeah. Johnny yeah. Depp, Alice in Wonderland, that whole world. So Meredith, talk about how you brought this to the stage and, and choreographing this based on this book. What was that like? Um, it was really a different process for me because usually what I'm working with is a little bit more of an abstract storyline as a choreographer. So working from something that is literary and um, very literal, has um, character names and a very um, direct storyline was a little bit different for me and so trying to interpret that into the bodies of these 15 dancers has been really, really fun and really a challenge and took a lot of hard work on everyone's part. but have really enjoyed working with the, the musician as well. So, so you're essentially, you're having your dancers tell the story and, and portray these characters through dance and through movement. What a cool thing. Yeah, it's really cool, especially when you're trying to um, get to the essence of what the character is rather than so much acting out what that character does um, and seeing all of those characters interact in that way rather than reading lines or talking what the uh, talking about what the book was about is is really fun. And what was the rehearsal process like? Uh, how long was this process? Um, we've been rehearsing every Sunday for four to five hours for the past couple weeks uh, since August. And it's been very intensive. The dancers have worked really, really hard. Four hours is a long time to dance, especially when it's pretty athletic movement. So um, when you get to see the clip, you'll get to see kind of how much that is. And it's a short section, but it's, it's really intense. And speaking of that section, we see the dancers out here right now starting. Can you talk a little bit about what we're seeing right now on the screen? This is, um, this is one of the sections towards the end of the production. This is the two queens meeting Alice, and they're essentially coronating her and bringing her into the queen life. Wow, okay, so we, the band is playing as well. We're gonna turn that mic up outside. We're gonna listen for a little bit and watch. so cool Meredith about watching this as you saw in the beginning I could see the sisters you know kind of prepping her and primping her and and uh, so I really see these characters sort of come to life uh, out here this is so cool so if people want to get tickets what's the best way to do this yeah so we're, we're actually going to be doing this for 1200 students during the day as part of our kids matinee and then there's one performance that the public can come see at November 1st at 8 p.m. it's at the Libero Theater they can get tickets at the box office 805-963-0761 is the phone number or they can go to libero.com and just go to Nebula very, very cool and such, such a beautiful movement out there. So folks, you should definitely check it out through the Looking Glass uh, by the Nebula Dance Lab uh, this November. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, for best of luck with the production or break legs as they say. Stick around, more news, weather and traffic when Fox 11 News returns.